another important consideration when purchasing your fish and your corals, uh, how hardy the animal is. It's good practice to get familiar with your, um, I guess, local authority and ask them regularly, whenever you purchase a fish or a coral, ask them to give you a rating. Basically, I rate all my fish and corals to my customers. Uh, rating number one means that your average person has no trouble keeping it. Rating number two means that some people have no trouble keeping it, other people experience problems. And rating number three, most people have trouble keeping it. So most of the animals that are in the rating number three category, there'll be something, some special requirement that that animal has. Either it needs, needs sponge in its diet, it needs to be fed on liquid foods, whatever its consideration is that makes it a number one, or, sorry, a number two or number three, you need to understand and provide. So basically if the person says, yes, this is a number one fish, it's very easy to keep, then the chances are that you will succeed with it because your average person can succeed with it. If it's a number two fish and you buy it, you put it into your aquarium and something happens to it, don't take it as personally. And then a number three fish, if you do buy a number three fish, which is something that your average person can't keep, Whatever you do, don't take it overly personally if it doesn't work, particularly if you're not offering the special requirements that that animal has. So that doesn't mean you can't keep the animal. What it does mean is you need to further understand what it is that makes this animal hard to look after. It may not want light. It may want particular foods. It may not go with other animals because it feeds too slowly. There will always be a reason why it's a number three animal as opposed to a number one animal. Particularly when you're starting the tank off, if you stick with fish like dotty backs, damsels, clownfish, fish that are very easy to look after, you're less likely to be disappointed than starting off with fish like tangs and angels and that are typically more expensive and a little bit harder to keep. All of those rules pretty much apply with corals as well. Number one, corals are really what you've got to start with. You've really got to, every time you go to the store, you need to ask someone that, that you consider to be an authority, is this an easy animal to keep? Because some people will get a very bad experience of a reef aquarium because they've bought this coral, they've bought this fish, they've bought that, and all of those animals have actually perished. And all it's been is due to a lack of understanding of what that particular animal wants. Because under normal circumstances, that particular animal doesn't usually do well. So you don't take it personally if it happens to you.